Hi everyone, this is Terry. Look what I have. I finally received my Upgrade Kit 2 for my Luminaire and I'm very excited about that. My magnifying lens and then also the new hoop. I'm waiting for the new vinyl kit for my Dizzy machine and a couple of other supplies that I'll share with you in separate videos. Today what I want to do is to unbox some of these things so you can see them and what's included in, inside. I'll also talk to you about the update version 3 that you can download on your machine. It's actually 3.04. I have a video covering that. But I want to share with you before I install my upgrade what was added as part of that update so that you know what to expect on your machine. And then I will be recording separate videos at later dates to show you how to go through all of these features in detailed step-by-step -step videos for each of the features. So let's get started. The first new feature that was added with version 3.0 when you go into page six in your settings, and these are in your sewing settings, you'll notice on your background color that you have three different background colors. You have a dark color, a medium color, and you also have a light color. The other option you have is to turn your projector on on the machine. Now you'll notice that I have the projector on. I went to character and decorative stitches, and I located a stitch that I like. Now what I'll do is use my dual purpose stylus and you notice that it has a battery inside so one end is used for my design center and for, for other applications within the machine. You can use this instead of your fingertip and then you can use the button here to adjust things with the projector right at the machine. So let's look at that. So I just have a scrap piece of fabric here, but what I want to demonstrate is you can see the stitch right here on the machine. Now, in the past, you were able to adjust the width of the stitch, and you were also able to adjust the length of the stitch, and you can see it's visibly getting smaller, and you could adjust the left-right shift. Now there will be some limitations on that depending on the width of the stitch. The other thing you could do, and let me change hands so you can see it, is that you were able to cycle through stitches. So if you wanted to see another stitch, and let's say that you wanted this stitch here, so let's move over to that stitch and choose set. We now have that stitch that we can modify. If you cannot see it on the fabric, and actually I can see it fairly well, you now have three new icons right here, and this is for your background. So you can choose between the dark background, which you can definitely see it on the dark background. You have a gray background, which makes it less visible, and then you also have the light background. So this projector function was added as part of update version 3. Now let's move on to the next portion of the update.